In our last video, we talked about the basics of a VFD and how it takes a 480 volt input to the drive in the converter section, rectifies it up to a DC bus voltage, and then uses pulse width modulation in the output section to produce a variable voltage, variable frequency output to the motor. So you can find more details on that in our last video. Today, we're gonna to talk about harmonic distortion and how it's affected by the switching frequency of the pulse width modulation. The switching frequency is the rate at which the output IGPTs switch on and off. These typically range from 2 to 16 kilohertz or 2,000 to 16,000 times per second. And the switching frequency is also sometimes called the carrier frequency. And so because the diodes and IGBTs of the drive are nonlinear loads, they create our what are known as harmonics. So harmonics are integer multipliers of the fundamental frequency. And so because our drive is a six pulse VFD, we would have a six here in this equation. But if you have a 12 pulse VFD, for example, you'd replace this with a 12. And then so N equals one to infinity. So for example, when n equals one, we get one times six equals six, plus or minus one. So we get harmonics of five and seven. If n equals two, we get two times six is 12, plus or minus one is 11 or 13. And this goes on and on. So these, these would be the harmonics in a KEB six pulse VFD. If we draw out the sine waves, so we'll draw the fundamental frequency first, which is 60 Hertz. And then if we draw the fifth harmonic, something like this. So the fifth harmonic is five times 60. So we would get 300 Hertz. And then one more, we'll just do the seventh harmonic. And these sine waves aren't perfectly aligned to the true frequencies, but it gives you an idea of what they would look like. So again, it would just be seven times 60 is 420 Hertz. So then your true output waveform would be the sum of your fundamental frequency and all of your um, harmonic frequencies. So because those aren't a true sine wave, we would get an output that looks more like this with some distortion in it. The effect that that has on the harmonics is if we draw one more graph, we'll first start with, we'll say for example, if this is two kilohertz and this one is 16 kilohertz, you'll have a high harmonic distortion with a lower uh, switching frequency. And as your switching frequency increases, you'll decrease your harmonic content and you'll get closer to a true sine wave. So it won't be a perfect sine wave with the PWM, but it'll be much closer as the higher the switching frequency increases. And then this effect is more pronounced as the output frequency to the motor increases. So typically at KEB, we recommend your switching frequency is at least 10 times that of your output frequency. So for example, if you have a 400 Hertz output, you'd wanna have at least four kilohertz on your switching frequency. And if you have an 800 Hertz output, you'd wanna have at least eight, or eight kilohertz on your switching frequency. There are some downsides in increasing the switching frequency. The biggest is that it increases heating in the drive because the IGBTs are switching on and off so rapidly. It can also increase EMI noise in the system and cause you to derate the output current to the motor. Then there are a lot of advantages that come with increasing the switching frequency. The biggest of those is because you have this cleaner output waveform is you'll have lower motor losses and thus a higher efficiency in your motor. <clears throat> and then this output waveform will also uh, allow for a lower motor heating, which can increase the lifetime of your motor and will produce lower audible motor noises. So in applications such as in the theater industry, you'd have a quieter uh, motor operation. And then finally, because this effect is more pronounced at higher speeds, this higher switching frequency would allow you to reach a higher speed in your motor. So this is just kind of basic overview of harmonic distortion, the effect that the switching frequency has on it, and then the pros and cons of increasing your switching frequency in the drive. <laughs>